Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a dot plot using rounded values in Microsoft Excel 2007. I'll be using retail sales, uh, 66 months worth of data from January 01 through June 06 in billions of dollars. But let's take this time series data and copy it and paste it into a blank worksheet. And let's sort the data from smallest to largest. It's still selected, so I'll just go to Data, Quick Sort, and there it is, so smallest to largest. And let's make a column of frequencies, or a dot count column. And uh, I'll say 1 to begin with. And then in the next cell, I type, I want it to count for me, so I say equal if this cell in A3 is equal to the one in A2, then take my initial one and add one to it, otherwise start over at one, double click the lower right corner, and make a scatter plot out of these two columns. Insert, scatter. Okay, let's cut that graph out of here and paste it near the top so we can see it better, and I'll shrink it a little bit and squeeze it. And I don't see any clustering of the points, any piling up of the points, but let me edit this graph anyway. Click the legend and d delete it. Uh, grid lines delete, Y axis delete. Let's rescale the X axis, right click, format axis. Start at 240, go to 420 by increments of 20. Let's get rid of the excess decimal places. Go to number, change that to zero. Okay. Let's change the points to black circles. Right click, format data series, built in, circle, marker fill, solid, black, marker line color, solid, that's the outline of the circles. Okay, and there is no piling up of the points, so this is not a very good dot plot. What I need to do is round these values to the nearest whole number. Okay, so what I'll do is insert a column at uh, B right click, insert, and then I'll say uh, these are rounded values, and I'll use a formula, equal round, parentheses, grab the cell you want to round, comma, zero means round to zero decimal places or to the nearest whole number, right parentheses. Okay, let's format to get rid of the decimals, mm -hmm. and center it, and double click the lower right corner. Okay, now my frequency values didn't change over here because these formulas are still grabbing the uh, data from A. So I'll, right here, I'll change that. Instead of A3, make that B3. A2, make it B2. And C2 is uh, correct. Double click the lower right corner. And you can see my graph has now got some piling up of the points. It's still a lot of clustering where there's no piling up of points. So we could possibly round even more, maybe to the tens place. But this is definitely better. So let's do that. Um, I'll change this formula. I'll round. I'll say negative 1 instead of 0 in the formula. And that rounds to the nearest uh, tens. Double click lower right corner. My graph got all weird, and honestly I don't know why, but I'll just remake the graph and it'll be right. So I'll delete that, remake my dot plot out of these two, insert, scatter, and there we go. It looks a lot more clustered. Let's paste that near the top. Maybe this is too much clustering now. Delete, 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 rescale, 240. 420 by increments of 20, zero decimal places, right click on the points, format, marker options built in, uh, black circles with a black outline. Okay, so this is a, actually this is a better looking dot plot than the previous example. So I can see the slight right skew, bit of an outlier here, and I can see where the points are piling up or clustering. Okay, and I would add a title either in the graph or above the chart, saying this is monthly U.S. retail sales in billions of dollars, you know, with the date range, and add, and this is the retail sales axis. 
the uh, data. Again, this is a cross-sectional display, so again, we have lost all time patterns, and in a way, this is a misleading graph because uh, you know, if we wanted to use this data to make a prediction for retail sales, you might just say something around the average as your prediction. But of course, that wouldn't be a good prediction. Okay, that's it.